Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kishaloy. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about that. Why did I choose IIS over IIT Bombay for my MTech? So when I was planning for my MTech in 2018, I have applied for for my MTech application in both IIS and IIT Bombay. And as I had a pretty good GATE score, so I got offer from both of the institutions. But later I analyzed few of the key factors and reasons and after that I, I decided to go for IIC. And what are those key factors that makes IIT be a bit, a bit advantageous position than IIT Bombay that I'm going to discuss in this particular video. So please do watch the video till end and before starting the video, please if you haven't sus subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. First of all, obviously, you know, IIC is India's number one institution and overall brand IIC is much bigger than any of the IITs, not only IIT Bombay, any of the IITs, for example. And if you if you see any of the recent national or international ranking also, you find IIC has a better rank than 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 all of the IITs and IIT Bombay. And this is true for any, any, any discipline for engineering and science. So overall, IIC is in a better position than all of the IITs. Also, you know, for computer science i would say if you go to the cs ranking page so there is this cs cs ranking website where you can find the ranking of all of the institutions globally for any particular subdomain of computer science or overall also there if you find the overall ranking for last 10 years data if you if you collect there also you can see that isc ranking is number one and then iit bombay iit bombay is in two position second position so overall i would say that for any stream not only computer science for any stream of engineering isc had a better ranking than all of the IITs and IIT Bombay and that was one of the prime reason I joined IISC for my MTech. Next is course structure for MTech CAC is better in IISC than IIT Bombay. Now this point I will be explaining a bit elaborately. Now suppose you join IISC for your MTech in CAC. So in the first semester you have to do the basic courses from all of the pools that means theory system and intelligence system pool. That is prerequisite for the advanceable courses that you have to take from the second semester onwards. Like suppose if you take uh, AI machine learning uh, domain like the intelligence system pool. So the first semester you have to do basic uh, basic linear algebra probability or optimization courses. So these are the courses that are prerequisite for the machine learning or related uh, AI courses. Now what student has to do is in the first semester they will do all these basic 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 stuffs. They will spend a dedicated semester for the so for the prerequisite courses and from the next semester onwards they can take the advanced level courses and this particular course structure is actually very very good for students like me uh, who had any, who had no idea or no prior knowledge about machine learning or ai uh, prior to joining IISC. So it was it was very helpful for me to adapt the whole whole system slowly and uh, I, I like I have first completed the basic courses and then I, I moved to the advanced level courses. But if you join IIT Bombay there from the first semester itself you have to take the machine learning courses and all these prerequisites like linear algebra probability that you have to manage by manage uh, by yourself. So this I think a bit difficult for a students who is going to this kind of institutions like big institutions like IIT Bombay or IISC so it's it's uh, IIC's course structure I personally feel it is very helpful and uh, very structured which is really you know helpful for all of all the students even for the students who doesn't have any prior knowledge so that also one thing I kept in mind the third point is that not only IIT Bombay all of the IITs have BTECs in, in computer science department and these BTECs will make your life the undergraduates or BTECs will make your life difficult now why I am saying there are few cases that will happen first of all you have to compete with them in the courses like this third year or fourth year BTECs they also will be taking the courses that you will be taking in your first or second years uh, first or second semester of um, MTech and you know undoubtedly they are better than you because they have come through IIT JE they have cracked that one and they are in that IIT environment for some time like they are in third or fourth year so they know the patterns how to score well in some subjects and all and you will be a freshers into that system so obviously you know when there will be relative relative grading so your score will be a bit low than them so you have to compete with them you have to study really hard to you know beat them or have some score of, of, of their level so that is one problem second thing is that you have to compete with them even in the placements also like in 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 iit bombay when placements happen it happened for btech also mtech also and companies comes so they they look for candidates uh, from from btechs mtechs 
all of the courses so that is also one issue and third issue is that for btech people uh, like first year second year third year btech people even fourth year also so the, you have to be like mtech students have to be ts for for the courses that is dedicated for the btech people now in iit bombay if you, if you are in a master students you have to dedicate uh, weekly four to five hours for for TSE and those are completely waste wastage I feel because you have to you know check the assignments you have to take the lab labs uh, you have to check their copies and all so TSE you have to do do in IIT Bombay because uh, it's mandatory there and if you don't don't do the TSE you won't be get, getting the stipend that is twelve thousand four hundred but in IISC we don't have any undergraduate in computer science department so you know we don't have to compete with anybody in the placements or in the classes and also we don't have any TSE like uh, whatever the T, uh, whatever the TSE for the courses for MTech student is there they, they all are PhD students so PhD student used to, used to be the TS for the courses uh, in MTech and uh, the TSE is not mandatory uh, for us in, in IISC and those 12,400 actually get for, get for free I mean uh, that you will be getting anyway you don't need to do any TSE and also if you really want to do TSE so then you can go for a voluntary TSE in the in the final year like I have done TSE for my for my advisor for two courses but that's up to you if you really want to do in the second second year you can do that but it's not mandatory so you know having BTEC in your department is very you know makes your life a bit difficult and IIC doesn't have any BTEC and that that's where you know you are in a bit relief position than if you you go for IIT Bombay or any of the IITs for say next is placement uh, I would say that statistically there is not much difference between the placement statistics of IIC and IIT Bombay but there are some advantages that IIC have than IIT Bombay or any of the IITs first of all in IIC placement happens in October mid so it's like bit earlier than IITs because in IITs uh, placement happen in December first week so all of the comp companies so wh whatever vacancies they have they first visit IIC campus and then they go for the IITs so uh, obviously you know when when you you are appearing for the for the campusing so the companies has full 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 vacancies and if you are re doing really well you can you can get into the companies and secondly data science profile specifically that is offered more in uh, more in IISC than any of the IITs like I have I have I have seen like in all of the IITs and IIT Bombay there are most of the profiles are software development profile very few data science or machine learning related profiles are being offered there but in IISC as it is well renowned for its research so all of the big and big companies and uh, startups they used to offer a lot of data science profile in 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 IISC placement and I have and most of my friends are placed in data science profile in different companies so this is also one of the advantage like if you really want to do do data science related jobs so then I think IISC is in a better position than all of the IITs and IIT Bombay and obviously placement happens um, before in before in IISC than all of the IITs so there are some logistic advantage like in IIT Bombay you have to share your room for first year of MTech with with someone else but in IIC you will be given a single room throughout the two years of your or for MTech course so that is I personally feel that sharing room is bit a bit uncomfortable for me so I would love to say I love to have a single room for my MTech so that was one of the reason I joined IIC second thing is that weather at Bangalore is much more comfortable than Bombay and uh, like in Bangalore you know there it's not too hot or too too cold so it's kind of comfortable and the uh, the temperature is like 20 to 30 throughout the year and it's much more comfortable and it is optimal for studying and doing research third is I have been in both of the campus before uh, joining for my MTech like uh, I was there in Bombay in 2015 for my for my MTech RA, RA, RA interview and I was when I was working for ISRO I was uh, staying near to the ISC, ISC campus so I have been both of the campuses for uh, before also and I have been in the mess uh, for food also and what I found is like there are a lot of varieties and tasty foods in ISC than IIT Bombay so that was uh, you know that is something that attract someone who is very foodie like me so that is one advantage and finally I will say there was one disadvantage uh, that time when I was joining like in IIT Bombay hostel there was free Wi-Fi but in IIC there was no free Wi-Fi so if you have to go for 
go for um, uh, any work then you have to go to department but recently there is a good news that even in isc hostel also they have installed the wi-fi router so now that issue will also resolve so in, in uh, staying at uh, hostel you can access the internet and uh, you can do your work so these are the logistic uh, advantage that is also there so that's why you know i thought let's go for uh, iisc yeah so the, these are the five key factors that i have thought and analyzed before deciding that which one i'll be joining iit bombay or iisc and based on this i have decided let's go for iisc because these are the advantages that i'll be getting uh, if i'll join uh, join iisc and actually i was there that time in bangalore also so you know going to iisc was kind of uh, you know advantageous for me that i don't have to shift uh, further yeah that's it guys that's it about my my experience and why i did, I, I have chosen uh, iisc over iit bombay for for my mtech so hope you have liked the video and if you like the video please uh, like it and share it to many other people so that you know they, they also get to know about both of the institutions and especially the advantages uh, of iisc and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notification regularly so that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye